Hi Gemini, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your mid-December forecast. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If you are a cross watcher, you might be able to resonate with some of these messages. So I would like to say welcome to all of my subscribers. Thank you guys so much for joining me here today. If you are not subscribed, please do subscribe. I do appreciate it. We did just have Judgment Flip out. All right, so this is a reading that is focusing on the time period from mid-December to mid-January. This is for Gemini. So let's see what you have coming up, Gemini. What is the sign of Gemini? Five of Wands. Okay, we have the Prince of Swords, which is the Knight of Swords in the reverse. We have the Four of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Hmm. So now we just need a final outcome, which is energy that you will experience around mid January for Gemini, please. What is Gemini's final outcome for mid January, please? Okay. I'm just gonna pull one one other card here. I feel the need to pull one other card here. What is this five of cups for Gemini, please? Okay. Justice at the bottom of the deck. Very interesting read, guys. Uh, if you can't resonate, please watch your other signs. Also, check out your December monthly that I posted. I posted that maybe about a week and a half ago. Okay. So, with justice and judgment here in the Hierophant, many of you are dealing with something legal. Okay, we have justice, we have the tower. It is possible that some of you Geminis are dealing with a Libra. This could be something at work, this could be something with coworkers, a Libra could be significant, a Scorpio, a Pisces. I do have very strong Scorpio energy here though. Okay. We have the Hanged Man. If I keep going, I have the King of Wands there. 
this could be the end of, of some sort of um, business deal. Maybe you're working with, um, could be multiple people. Uh, if you had a business partner or partners, something might have collapsed. Something uh, might not have worked out. Now, I definitely could be reading for some Geminis where you're taking legal action. If you are, you will have to be patient with this process. Yeah, make sure you have a good legal team. Make sure that you have a good team uh, that you're working with. We have this King of Wands. You could be working with a King of Wands, a fire sign. For those of you that lost a job, something might have happened. Some sort of business deal might have fell through, or you might have uh, lost a job. With the tower energy, this could this could have been sudden. This could be uh, something that you know happened that you weren't expecting. Uh, but for some of you, this was meant to happen that's what I'm getting here so um, the universe uh, is trying to shake things up trying to direct you to move down a, a different path so for some of you um, you know try to maybe see the silver lining try to stay positive if you feel as though something isn't fear get yourself a uh, a good a good team uh, to to work with uh, I definitely feel like you will have a better outcome if you're working with others uh, I definitely am getting that and be open to their ideas their opinions um, that's important Others, you might have something legal. Uh, there definitely could be something legal. Some of you could even be signing something. You could be signing a contract. Uh, if not on the business front, this definitely could be something with real estate. It might have something to do with a will, something to do with an inheritance, something like that. Some of you, maybe you're taking care of, of this stuff here. If you're older, you could be taking care of, of some of that here during this time. For those of you getting a divorce, uh, what I'm getting with this is is someone your 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 ex. If you're in the process of getting a divorce, or maybe you already actually divorced this person, I feel like for some of you, someone does want to come back, uh, and so you do have a decision that you have to make. Someone here could be trying to reconcile with you so this could be a marriage if not a marriage you might have been with this person for many years you might have children with this person so you do have a decision to make do you let go of the past do you forgive for some of your for some of you you're asking yourself um, you know, what is the right thing? That's what's needed is doing the right thing. So definitely needing to maybe take a step back with the hangs man here. Pause, take a step back. Try to look at the larger picture. With the Hierophant crowning you, many of you, you do have faith and you will listen to your higher self when it comes to this, this matter you will do the right thing with justice in the Hierophant. Now, I think prior, you were not listening to your intuition. We have the High Priestess in the reverse. So this is prior. You were not listening to your intuition. You might have actually made a bad decision. Those of you that know that you made a bad decision, I think that you're correcting it here during this time. 
So something could have crumbled, something could have blew up in your face. I hate to say it like that. You could have uh, self-sabotaged. You could have basically uh, ruined something if you, if you made the wrong decision. That's for some of you. Others, something failed, something didn't work out. So if you're a Gemini that feels as though you did not make the right decision, I think that you're correcting that mistake. That's, that's very important. Now, some of you are dealing with others. So in your mind, Gemini, I see you doing the right thing. I see you wanting to do the right thing, but there could be other people around you that are opposing that idea. They're, they're fighting you on it. They don't want you to do what it is that you're about to do. And I see you in the recent past going back and forth, changing your mind a lot. You could have been changing your mind a lot because of other people's influence. You know, uh, you can't live your life for everybody else. You have to do what makes you happy. But I see you maybe flip-flopping. I see you maybe weighing the pros and cons here trying to make a decision but a decision will be made and this is a life-changing decision for some of you it has to do with business others others this is maybe something with a relationship family property wills things like that very important it's very important also, something could have come to light. So some of you found something out. So you know something now that you didn't know prior. And so therefore, I see you making a different decision. And again, it could be with a number of different things. For some of you, it could be in regards to um, maybe coming back together, your family coming back together. It could be those of you that were married or are married if you were legally separated, it could be you all coming back together. But again, there's some sort of outside influences. Five of Wands here in the near future. So this can be others around you um, opposing you, not agreeing with you. There's a clashing of the energies here. It can also be jealousy, uh, competition. But this is going on around you. But um, by you being aware that this energy is, is there, it's coming up, you can actually avoid it. Pick and choose your battles. Don't, you know, don't allow anybody to get under your skin. Needing to listen to your intuition. Maybe, Gemini, you need to stay quiet. You might need to keep things under wraps and maybe you didn't do that prior and that could have backfired so just keep that in mind uh but yeah listen to your intuition you're definitely being inspired here you're definitely being divinely inspired and i really feel like you don't want to make the wrong move But in the position of your power, I have the Prince of Swords in the reverse, which um, could be this, this interference getting the best of you. This could be preventing you from moving forward, taking action. If, if you were going to take legal action... If you were going to sue someone, if you were to take them to court for whatever reasons or get a divorce, some of you, again, your some of you will change your mind. Some of you will change your mind. Others, you might be dealing with a fellow air sign. You could be dealing with someone younger. What's important here at this time over the next few weeks is not letting others influence you. That's so very important. 
And if you feel the need to keep things uh, close to your chest, then do that. But needing to listen to your higher self. If there was an ongoing battle, maybe letting that go. But I am reading for some Geminis where you definitely might be a little stubborn here at this time. Maybe still, still angry about something. Others around you are seeing you as the Four of Pentacles, which is closed off, not open. It can be stingy. It can be greedy, stingy. It can represent many different things. But it's a very closed off energy. It's also a very overprotective energy. Not letting someone in, not letting people close to you. Could be loved ones, it could be family. If you're an older Gemini, you might have you might have a, a son. Some of you maybe have um, a child. Maybe maybe they're a teenager. They could be in their twenties. If they're older, if they're in their early thirties, mid thirties, um, they might be. Um, very young mind minded they might be a little bit more of um, a, a young spirit maybe they don't have a lot of life experience whatever whatever um, yeah there could be something going on with your child for those of you that have a child you know maybe they're involved in like a legal matter they could have did something and you might be trying to help them get out of it and, and that's how this is playing out for you. This is a very protective energy. So protecting your family, protecting your loved ones, protecting your assets. That's needed. That could be why some of you are taking care of maybe some paperwork. Uh, it could be wills and things like that. Like that. Insurance. Things like that. But I do see some fear here. In the hopes and fears, we have the Eight of Swords, which is fear. Fearing not being able to move forward, fearing, um, you know, your anxiety, your fear, getting the best of you, preventing you from moving forward, trapping you in a situation, but this is just a fear. I do see you very guarded. I do see you very protective. Now, this is interesting because energy that you have mid-January, we have the Five of Cups, and I, I felt the need to pull another card. And so we have the King of Cups. So there could be some sort of um, regrets here. If you rushed into something a little bit too quickly, you might have made a... Uh, a very hasty decision I do apologize if you uh, are hearing any background noise um, but if you did something again if you did something that you regret I think that over this 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 time this period of time you're going to correct it or you're going to try to correct it there is some regret here. That's what I'm getting. So some of you, Geminis, you made a move. You did something. You took action, but there's regret. You could have hurt someone. Others, especially you Gemini men, you know, this is a very emotional energy here. I think that you're not over the past. You might even feel as though there was a missed opportunity here. You missed out. Again, I see you going back. I see you trying to correct a mistake. And this is a very specific read. So if you can't resonate, please watch your other signs. Some of you, it's with a marriage, others, family, business. You know, if you were involved with somebody, but your walls were up, you didn't let them in. 
they could have ghosted you, honestly. And this can go either way. So if you're a cross watcher and you're watching this because you're dealing with a Gemini, you know, maybe you didn't let them get close to you. Maybe you wouldn't let them in. This is a, a King of Cups or someone who's very emotional here at this time. And they, I feel like there's regret, sadness. Someone who's not over the past. So, I mean, you can change a lot of this energy by doing the right thing, by listening to your higher self, doing what's right. Some of you need to step up and do this. It is a call from the universe for you to step up in some way. I know it's very specific, guys, but this is what it is. And there could be others that are trying to influence you. So be aware. I would try to block this out. You don't need to listen to anybody else's opinion. You really don't when it comes to this because this is you being led, guided to step up in a big way. This is karmic for many of you. It's a lesson here that you had to learn. I would not listen to others. That's for sure. And don't let your fear hold you back. If you're a male Gemini, I think that, yeah. You want to put the, the past behind you. Okay. All right, let's take a look at this High Priestess in the reverse for Gemini, please. There is a lot of spiritual energy here. Some of you, this is a karmic lesson. So literally, whenever it is that you're watching this, if you are feeling inspired, some of you, you're being called to action here. You know, with the Hierophant crowning you and the High Priestess in the reverse at your foundation, you know, you might have had the wrong idea. You could have judged someone incorrectly. You might have had the wrong idea. So this is uh, you changing your mind. This is you letting go of old beliefs taking action okay interesting let's take a look at this five of cups with the king of cups here all right so first let's look at this looking at the five of cups with this king of cups i have this is the friend card. So this is around a friend. This is around a friend. So maybe maybe you feel like a friend did you wrong. Okay, it could be a friend and a lover. Because at the bottom I have love here. Maybe you fell for a friend. Maybe you were married. Some of you getting a divorce. Maybe this person didn't want to be with you until you got a divorce. I mean, it could be a number of different things. But this is someone loyal. But there's some sort of regrets around this, this situation, this relationship. If you're a male Gemini, I mean, you might really want to uh, reconcile with someone. You might want to make something up. Make something up uh, to someone here. If you had a falling out with a friend. So we have gift, we have misfortune, and we have fortune with the high priestess in the reverse. So 
there was a misfortunate event, there was a disaster, a failure, something that didn't work out, and it, it could be because you didn't keep something a secret, you told others, or you didn't listen to your intuition, basically. But again, when you do the right thing, when you do listen to your intuition, this is like the wheel of fortune. That wheel will turn and you will be blessed. Once you learn the lesson, more gifts from the universe will come in. So change, you can, you can turn this around. I know it's very specific, but this is what it is, guys. You can turn this around, Gemini. You know, if your business, if you're, you know, dealing with some, some business things, you know, business hasn't been, uh, it's been, it's been a little bit of a struggle. Maybe you're up against a lot of competition. I think you have to make some decisions here. Yeah. Some of you, do you rebuild? Do you allow this help to come in? Should you work with others? I think you should. I think you should. You need to uh, definitely work with others. Maybe some of you need some legal counsel, definitely. Here we have judge, five of wands. I feel like other people are judging you. Other people are opposing what it is that you're doing. You can't allow this. I would block this out. Those of you that know you made the wrong decision, listen to your higher self. All right, let's pull you some additional guidance cards. Gemini, please, for this time period, mid-December to mid-January, please, for Gemini. Now, if this is not you, Gemini, because it's so specific, this could be someone very close to you. So this could be a loved one. This could be a best friend. Someone very close to you could be um, dealing with these, these energies, this situation. Gemini. All right, let's focus on your love life, Gemini. So we have bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. So some of you Geminis may be dealing with an Aquarius. But you need to br bring love into the situation. So do the right thing. Again, listen to your higher, higher self. Listen to your intuition. Let go of the past. Some of you, this is in regards to healing a relationship, getting back together. Uh, I am definitely reading for some Geminis that this is, this is with a marriage. We have commitment. You dedicate yourself to your beliefs wholeheartedly, knowing that love is the essence of your very being. Create space for new love. Wow, okay. And then we have you know what to do. <laughs> I mean, this could not resonate more. Maybe some of you are actually getting involved with an Aquarius. They might be younger and they might be impatient or you're impatient. So if you if you are a Gemini and you have new love coming in, 
you're being encouraged to create space, which for some of you, that's with possibly getting a divorce. I mean, you would know if that's you or not, Gemini. But I think you met someone new. Possibly it's a younger ear sign. You might be impatient to be with this person. They maybe want you to get a divorce. Maybe they want you to get a legal separation. It could be a number of different things. Uh, they might want a commitment from you. Some of you that I'm reading for, you want to give this person a commitment. You do want to commit to this person. We have the Hierophant crowning you. But um, something could have happened. So this is, this is a decision for some of you Geminis to rebuild. So if you were involved with someone or there was the potential for something more with, with someone around you, maybe something didn't work out. Something could have crumbled, um, but this is someone you do want to build with. You do want to work with this person. Some of you want to maybe marry this person. It depends on, you know, who you are. But yeah, this is what you're moving towards. Don't be impatient. Yeah, you're being encouraged to create space for the new. And you already know what you should do. You already know. I think you're going to make the right decision, Gemini. I really do. I really do. And yes, some of you, this is you uh, coming back together with a, a marital partner or someone you have a family with, someone you were with for many years. Yes, for some of you, this is you coming back together. Yeah, and you need to create that space um, within your heart for them. Uh so basically, you need to, to let go of the past, all that past hurt, maybe resentment, all of that, especially if you're coming back together with someone. Yeah. Listen to your intuition. Bring love into the situation. So earlier, what I got for some of you is that you were going to pursue something legally, but I am I am reading for some Geminis where you're actually changing your mind. And it could be because, you know, you're forgiving someone, they're forgiving you, whatever, whatever. Some of you are changing your mind though. And you might be trying to mend this relationship, friendship, business partnership, uh, whatever. But you have, you have a very important decision to make, Gemini. All right, guys. So if you found this video helpful, please do give this video a thumbs up. I do appreciate it. If you are not subscribed, please do subscribe. I, I would appreciate it. All right, guys. Stay